According to Stack Overflow's 2020 developer survey, Python was the second most loved programming language for the year. And guess which language was most dreaded? VBA. So let's switch over to using Python in Microsoft Excel instead of VBA. In order to use Python in Excel, I'm going to be recommending the add-in PyXLL. Um, I'll put this link in the description to the company's homepage. Basically, you're just going to have to come to this website, uh, do start your free trial, you get um, one month free trial. And now I'm just going to put in uh, some fake information so that people watching this video can see my info. And then you're going to have to find out which Excel version that you have, which should be based on your system. So in order to do that, go to System Info in this Start menu here. Click on System Info. And then it'll say System Type. If that's X64, you have 64-bit. If it's X32, you have 32-bit. I'm going to change this to 64-bit because that's what I have. Now I'm going to do I agree to the conditions and download. So you're going to see um, this should f pull up in your... Uh, an option to save file or open with. I'm going to do save file and I'll go check out the uh, folder location where it was saved and then I will extract all. I'll just extract it into, you can put it wherever you want, I'm just going to put it in my downloads. So here is the extracted folder. Now we can go in there. First thing we're going to have to change is the configuration file that will end with a CFG, so just pyxll.cfg and then the line we're going to have to change immediately is this one that says executable equals and there's a path. We need to put the path to our own uh, python.exe file on our system. So here if you have Python installed on your computer you can proceed to the next step. If you don't I'll put this link in the description. You're just going to have to download the newest version of Python. It's on python.org. I'll put that link in the description. So now let's go back to this. So in order to find out where Python installed in your computer, just go to the uh, command prompt. So come down to the start menu, type command, and then do where Python. And then grab this first link and just paste it over this previous link that they had in there. Also, this is a the semicolon, that's a comment. So in order, you have to get rid of that. So now there's no more semicolon on this line. Let's save that. Now that we've saved that, we're going to go back to the command prompt and install three packages. pip install pi xll. Next, we're going to just do pi xll install. Um, I'm just going to break out of this because I've already installed it. And then we're going to do pip install pi xll. Ju Jupiter. So this is if you want to be able to use the Jupyter Notebook in Excel. So after you've installed all three of these, now what we're going to do is go to the actual um, new Excel spreadsheet. We can just open a blank spreadsheet for this. Okay, blank workbook. So we're going to want to make the add-in pull up here um, so that it's in our ribbon. So I'm going to go to Options, File Options, and then Add-ins. And then we're going to go down here and press Go and then browse. So we're gonna have to go find um, where we change that configuration file. So I've had it in my download, so I'm gonna go to that folder, and then I'm gonna go grab this here. And okay, so now it's installing the add-in, and we should see it pop up in here. And see here, we installed the Jupyter package, and we have the rest of the packages. Now let's create a new Python file to create the function that we want to use in Excel, a custom formula. So I'm going to go back to my notepad and let's do new. And so for any of these uh, formulas that you're going to want to use for this package, you're going to have to do from pi uh, xll and import um, xl func. Okay, and then you're going to have to call it as at xl underscore func. Now we're going to define the function. We can call this one annual com. So we're going to do a formula to calculate uh, annual compounding interest. So I'm going to call it annual compound and we're going to pass in present value, uh, the interest rate, and the number of years. So then we're going to do four spaces and so like any 
formula where you're just calculating future value, you just do the present value times uh, one plus the interest rate, and then you put it to the power of the number of years. And so in Python, instead of doing like a typical, um, what you would normally do, uh, like this symbol, you do the double asterisk to actually do an exponent, okay? And then we're gonna do four more spaces and then we're just gonna return uh, future value. Okay, so now let's actually save this. So we're gonna do save as, we're gonna go back to the original uh, PyXXL package. We're gonna do a new folder. Let's call that folder uh, modules, okay? So we're gonna go in modules and let's just call this annual, uh, Compound. We'll call it annual compound. And we're going to save it actually as uh, dot pi. So let's save that there. Now we're going to have to go back to our configuration file. So let's go back and so this new folder modules, let's grab that file path. So all I did is I went back to it, I clicked in the bar and I did copy like control C. And now I'm gonna go back to the um, configuration file. And then where it has this uh, Python path, you see that where it says equals dot examples underneath it, I'm just gonna paste the uh, file path that I just copied. And then I'm gonna go down to modules. You see where it says modules equals and it has this full list. We're just gonna add one right on to the end and we're gonna call it annual compound okay and then let's save that let's save that now that we've done that let's go back to Excel and we'll make sure that all of this worked by hitting reload and it tells us everything is okay it reloaded properly so let's try to work this function let's say our present value is $1,000 our rate is uh, 7% and our time horizon in years is 15 years. Now let's use our custom formula. So when we hit equal, we should see this custom formula pop up here. Okay, and then we'll just pass in the parameters as we outlined in the Python function. So there we go. And we'll see that um, in 15 years, we'd have $2,759.03. And there, you just wrote your first Python function in Excel. I'm going to show you an example of how you can use Jupyter Notebook directly in Excel. I'm a big Packers fan, so I've pulled up Devontae Adams' uh, statistics for the season. Um, you can use whatever table you like, so I'm going to copy that and paste the values in here. And I'm just going to keep the first couple handful of columns. And so I'm going to click on this Jupyter tab. It's going to pull up in Excel. You can work on dameless, uh, data seamlessly between the two. I'm going to hit New and then Python 3. So as long as I have my mouse selected in A1, I can use this command percent XL underscore and then get, and then I'll run that. And there's a table that pulls up and you can see I'm working with the same data in Jupyter as I am in Excel, which allows you to easily transition between the two. Now let's make this data more useful to us by setting the table as an actual, actual pandas data frame that we can manipulate in Python. So first we're gonna to have to go back to the command prompt and type in pip install, uh, quotation, pi win 32 equal sign equal sign 228 and then another quotation mark, just like you see there. So I'm gonna hit enter and now I'm installing this package. Okay, successfully installed. First we'll set a variable to pull in the data frame. So we'll say df equals percent excel underscore get then we'll run that and then we'll do percent XL set DF and then we'll run that. Just to prove that this is a data frame, I'm going to print it out. So we'll go print DF and run it. And here we can see it's the same table of data that we can work with however we want in Python. Uh, there's a lot more applications uh, in which this can be used, but 
I'm not going to go over that in this video, but stay tuned for future videos where I explore in further detail how we can actually use this Jupyter Notebook within Microsoft Excel. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and drop us a like and stay tuned for more content just like this.